give you a quick review. This is uh, five to six months of having the scooter. This is the Segway 9Bot Kick Scooter Max, and this is the G30 LP one. And um, yeah, it's super nice. This is the brake, this is the bell. You've got the uh, battery indicator here. This is where your speed is. And then you double click to switch modes. And then you uh, have the light here, comes on and off, the headlight. And then when you hit the brake, the brake light flashes. So those are all the kind of bells and whistles. The kickstand is super nice on these. Uh, we've seen some of the other ones that aren't Segway and the kick stands aren't as nice. And then um, when you get it out of the box, pretty much the only thing you have to assemble is these right here. So you just have to like put this on and then everything else is good to go. These uh, do have air in the tires. So technically like you can pop these tires and you do have to keep them aired up. I uh, uploaded another video showing you exactly how we air up these tires, but we definitely prefer these we've tried some of the ones that are um, that don't have air which is kind of nice if you really don't want to deal with any sort of maintenance at all but we don't mind and without having shock absorption things on these wheels these are a much smoother ride than the other ones especially the ones that don't have any shock absorption but uh, even the ones that my family member has has uh, shock absorbers in the back and this is still a smoother ride because of the air in the tire so we do like that and uh, this is how you fold it down just pop that out and fold this down and then this thing catches right here and then you can just lift it up now these are pretty heavy they are definitely not uh, the lightest kid on the block um, so I wouldn't expect to like want to be able to walk around with this all day or anything you're going to want to unfold it and ride it whatever so um, but super convenient we'll take this into restaurants and stuff and the, the fact that they can fold down is makes that a lot more plausible because um, you can just kind of it's sleek you can set it next to your table and um, not feel weird that your giant scooter is taking up space in the restaurant so uh, we weigh between 190 and 250 pounds and ride around on this no problem um, me being at 250 it does have to work a little bit harder to get up to 19 and probably hangs more around the 18 miles per hour at the 190 body weight it's getting up to 19 miles per hour no problem and um yeah it's just been a really really solid scooter so far um after five months we are loving having these as a transportation option we drive around way less now and get to some close places nearby way more often that uh, are just out of walking distance so if you're thinking about this we researched gosh i probably researched 150 scooters before landing on these and really happy with the investment they're a little bit pricier than some of the other ones but i think well worth it with the other ones that we have tried that my family got um, we're definitely happy with these and if it's in your price range in your budget then I would choose one of these nine bots I have a comparison with the slightly more expensive one you can look and see that one as well but uh, yeah if this fits your kind of body body weight range and in the budget then I would definitely recommend